Welcome back to Mouth Fishing. Uh, it's that time of the year. November is here. So uh, hopefully a happy and healthy holiday for you all. Uh, this is the first week of November, so I hope you got your plans ready for Thanksgiving. Obviously with uh, all the things going on in the world, uh, be safe out there. Uh, do keep it, uh, you know, as safe as you can. But with all that said and done, the November mystery tackle box elite package came in the mail today and uh i just honestly got finished watching uh no, no uh no redemption outdoors box and i'm really stoked that was a pretty good box so i'm hoping that i get some of the same things that he got uh this being november right around the corners december and january we're out of the fall i mean the, the final leaves are, are trailing off the trees what little have stayed Today with a beautiful, balmy, uh, you know, 65, 70 degree day, um, it's not feeling like, like November, um, so there is that. But, nevertheless, the fish know what time of season is, regardless of what the air temperature is, is, they know what time the transition period is, and they've all shuttled off to their deeper water holes, and uh, so I'm looking forward to some more winter-style baits in... You know, September, October, my transition periods, that's when I look for a lot of the, you know, top water and that kind of stuff. Uh, end of October, November, December, I'm not looking for top water. I'm hoping that this is going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of good, deeper jerk baits, trolling baits, crank baits, things like that. We will soon see. So hopefully not to disappoint, we'll uh, crack into the MTB elite edition for November. If you don't know what MTB is, it is another one of those subscription monthly package deals uh, where you get a selection of baits and terminal tackle and and uh, occasionally items outside of just baits and terminal tackle uh, every month delivered to your front door. The elite edition is their their highest tier. They have three tiers, standard, pro, and elite. Uh, the elite edition is, again, their most expensive tier and it provide you with the most numerous quantity of items uh, and the highest price point value per purchase, hopefully, um, out of the deal. So, with every box, you're going to get a little card, and in that card is an items list and a retail suggested price list, so you know basically um, what you're expecting to get purchase-wise if they give you a bait, they tell you what they suppose, you know, manufacturer supposes the retail value is, and it's a good way to judge whether or not you're getting a, a value for your package. Uh, I pay about $43 per month for this. Um, actual price and everything is going to be listed in the description. As always, I will timestamp each one of these baits so you don't have to actually watch through a whole video, although it helps me a great deal in the YouTube algorithm if you do, and it hurts me quite a great deal as far as uh, traction for my videos if you don't, but I'm not in here to waste your time. So if you're looking for a specific bait, you see it in the items list in the description, in the, uh, you know, the expanded uh, description below, you're going to see a timestamp. You can click right there and get the rundown with the price and what little uh, evaluation information I can give you if I'm familiar with that style of bait or that's something that I know is helpful and I can get, glean a little bit of interest and information for you for that. Um, we get ourselves our Dibble Digest. This one came with another word search, which is always fun. If you got kids, you can give them this while you're out there fishing or, you know, and then bring them along and troll them in. And sometimes I've always said MTB should have a little word search or a crossword puzzle with different species of fish. I've never at this point seen that yet, but that would be really cool. Uh, so you could have this in your, in, you know, you have your little kid uh, find a perch or find a bluegill or find uh you know a sunfish or what have you and then as you catch it mark it off a little checklist so maybe make a little bucket list for for youth anglers 
That all said, tips and tricks. Another good thing about the Dibble Digest, normally in here they will give you something about a bait. In this case, it's five soft plastics guaranteed to catch bass. So what I'm, what I'm gleaning from this, uh, I'm going to assume that there are quite a few soft plastic baits, which goes right along with this time of year. You're going to want Texas rigging some worms, Texas, you know, slow rolling some items, um, really getting down there in the deeper water, drop shots, and, and, uh, and what have you. So we'll see what comes up. Next, I will get to... It's in here. I already see something that's kind of shocking for, for a box of this season. But down here at the bottom, we've got our sticker. That's awesome. That is a really cool sticker. Uh, I saw the one that NRD uh, had. Uh, no or N N D R N D O. No, no, N R O. No Redemption Outdoors. N R O had uh, uh, for his sticker. I've seen a couple like that. This is different. I'm actually liking this. If you're uh, in, into gambling, I'm a poker player, so this works for me. Uh, that's a little jackpot, catch co, uh, you know, one arm bandit. So that's a cool sticker. I'm going to find a place to, to put that. Let's get into the box. First item, first bait, Dual Hardcore's Vibe for $14.99. So we'll go in here, we'll find our Dual. Dual. Dual Hardcore Vibe. So we've got ourselves a three inch, three quarter ounce rattle trap from Duel. Rattle trap's a great bait for this time. This is also a good color. During that fall transition, uh, as I stated in my last video, I call it the fall turnover. Um, basically, as the water changes in temperature, you're gonna have the thermocline roll over and the water's going to get a lot more murky. So colors like this, bright neon colors, a little blue back, got the little orange spot, a shad tone, a little shad spot on the side. Uh, the color, what color do they give this? They're calling this uh, da, 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 casting distance. Mm -hmm. uh, all range depth, that's cool. Number four hooks, number three split rings, and it's a circular split ring, not the uh, D or oval. Um, Sanaba Maki, that's great. I'm probably butchering the Japanese, but or maybe I'll, I'm wise enough to just kind of fake it till I make it. I don't see a color, but it is definitely, you know, yeah, they don't have a color. I hate when they do that. It's a sinking Vibe 75S, so that's why they say all ranges. So it's a sinking three quarter ounce bait. Nevertheless, awesome rattle trap. Always have sticky hooks from JDM products. Um, definitely got a distinct set of, of rattles in there. Great 3D eyes. And I do like the eyes. They have this little um, tiny teardrop, almost a shimmer drop, you know, as if you had water in your eyes, you have that little glint. And it's got this tiny little piece of silver um, dot at the bottom base of the eye that just catches. So when the fish are seeing this go through, you've got the spherical eye with the with the, uh, the retina, and then you've got this tiny little shiny silver part that'll definitely catch a little flash similar to a real, uh, you know, eyeball rather than just a plastic bead, um, you know, emulating. So that's pretty cool. Very sticky hooks. $14.99 for that. All righty. Excite Baits XB1 Double Dip. Excite Beat Baits XB1DD. It is a silent seven to eight foot half ounce round bill diver. And this one comes in Bone Daddy. So, silent. Well, that's the ring. Let me close up the ring. Ah, sounds like there's a rattle in there, but it's actually just a D ring because I can't quite, I can't quite grab it. Now I'm stabbing myself in the palm. <laughs> anyway, so you've got a little lavender backing just to give you a little sheen and, and shimmer. Uh, also around the eyeballs, you get a little bit of lavender paint in there uh, with some bone and just a hue, just a hue of avocado green, very faint, um, sort of like a lateral line. Again, to give you a little bit of color change and flexibility and, and uh, cast a little bit of uh, shimmer in the, in the water. Um, that's pretty cool, half ounce, which is good. 
Again, a deep diver this time of year, that's what I'm looking for, diving baits to go off of uh, shelves, uh, drop-offs after points, and the center of, you know, your, your big center depth areas where they're all going. Because at this period of time, all the grass has died off in the shallows. The only vegetation cover is going to be down in the deep water, what remains. And, uh, you know, obviously sunken logs and timber, that's always good. And that's where crankbaits do come in. I prefer a square bill, but to get them down deep, you're going to have these oval oval bills. Now, I like this. This isn't such a huge, um, you know, elongated bill for the depth. It's only seven to eight foot. Uh, these gradual roundovers, instead of the more teardrop shape, I like because this will act similar to a square bill. If you know anything about crankbaits, about build crankbaits and divers, the key to a square bill is as you're swimming a square bill along the water and you hit an obstruction, a square bill with those sharp angle edges will deflect, turn, and, and pivot out of the way. Round um, style bills, although they displace water a little bit better in my opinion than a square bill for the action when swimming, if they hit an obstruction, they'll roll side to side. And in their rolling side to side, if it hits uh, a piece of timber rather than say a hard surface like a rock, there's potential that it'll roll to the side and your hook will hang up on that obstruction, on that piece of, of cover. Square bills tend not to do that as often. They deflect more, more vigorously and they'll kick that hook away, roll the end over because it's such a flat, blunt edge, roll the bait over and pop it up and out of the obstruction and then go back to, to swimming and diving. So that's a big key that some people might not be aware of in what you're going to choose for a certain... Uh, fishing style or certain uh, lake or, or whatever waterway. If you have a lot of underwater timber, focus more on a square bill design diver. If you have more hard rock uh, or gravel base on your bottom and you want to get down there and tick, 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 then you can focus more on the oval or oblong bills. Um, again, it does change the action of the bait based on the bill design, obviously, a depth based on the bill design, obviously, but as a, as a matter of Reaction to deflection, square bills are better, in my opinion, for timber and softer cover materials, uh, like tree logs and things like that, things that you'll hit and and there's a more of a pinch point, where if it's really hard, where you can bang it and it's not going to get hung up as easy, um, then I go for the oval style, uh, style divers. And that was $8.99 for the Excitebait. Love that color, too. All right, next. Mustag, Mustad. Scatter shad. So we got a mustad in here. That's definitely that that's it. Scatter shad. It's a bladed jig. Okay. Hooked on fishing. Mustad, scatter shad. Uh, this is in uh scatter shad bladed jig, three eighths ounce, and this is what they're calling their bluegill pattern. Um, we'll take it out of the old package. I've had similar blades to or bladed jigs to this. Oh, it's got a nice beefy hook. Of course, it does half ounce. Or, oh, three eighths ounce. Excuse me, three eighths ounce. So you've got the old traditional um, hook point attachment for your chatterbait style with that old fashioned quick connect spring connect. So it's got the chatterbait's old uh, former style. Now that obviously you've got the modern uh, rings. So they don't they got away from this although I do like these springs they do give a different wobble to the blade you've got a, uh, a very nicely designed head sort of like the arrow style head on it right there with some really cool eyes painted on they call it the bluegill I would call this more of a minnow or shad tone um, more of a minnow tone to me than bluegill there's not enough in my mind enough green and purple and blue in this hue to give me the real blue gill pattern that I see in my waterways. This is more muted down gray, white, and uh, a dull, um, you know, a deep dull green, not the more vibrant uh, hunter grass green. It's more of a, uh, a muted green in this. Um, that said, not bad. Definitely a good hook. It's got a weedless, it's got the wire weed guard on the back here. So that's really cool it comes weedless. Um, I do like the hook. That's a very stout hook. And it's got the double 
double keeper on the shank of the lead for the chatterbait's head. So uh, yeah, that's good. I'll definitely get some use out of this. I love fishing uh, jig heads, especially, especially football heads. Um, I'm not really attuned to running the chatterbaits during the winter, um, just because they're so they're more of a reaction action bait. I've never used them during the winter. These have always been more of a summer uh, bait for me. But you never know. It, it might be worth a try, me stepping outside of my comfort zone and uh, trying something more vigorous during the winter time. Um, and you never know, I might get a muskie or a pike or something like that that's just, you know, in the mood for something fast moving and um, vi vibrating loudly. So the Mustad Scatter Shad Bladed Jig is another $8.99 bait. Next, from Blitz Lures, a Popping Frog, P-H-R-O-G. And this is disappointing because, although you can never have enough frogs, this ain't frog time. This is November, December. I don't want frogs in November, December. Um, I just don't. I would rather had, you know, a jerk bait or something like that, something along that line. And this is a mighty big frog for November, December. But uh, nevertheless, Blitz Lures in the standard toad, they're calling it the Margarita. It's a popping frog. I guess that's why they call it frog with a PH, because it's uh, it says pop, proper frog with a PH. Um, let's see, I'll take her out of the pack. I do like the V-hull, so it's got a nice little keel. That definitely will help, uh, and it is belly weighted internally, so that'll help it walk pretty soft. I like that, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So it's got that bright yellow chartreuse bottom belly section, uh, the green uh, typical toad pattern spots on the, on the back. Uh, Little tiny, you know, artificial legs painted in the side. Good skirts, bright yellow, neon, bright green. Good for, for catching the eye of the fish. White belly. Um, obviously, that's the side you're going to be looking at. Not this side. Fish don't see that unless you, fit, you know, flung it and it rolled on its back. And then you're going to want to right it and it's going to be swimming this way. So that's what they're going to see walking and popping. Um, again, I don't, I don't know. This is just not... In my opinion, the right time for this. I would have liked to see this in, you know, March, April, May. <laughs> then you give these to us in our packages. Um, I know frogs are such a huge, uh, you know, production line of baits. So getting frogs is relatively easy. And it's easy to, you know, there's a million brands of frogs out there. Scum frog and, and all those. That uh, finding a frog to throw in a box is not hard to do. To me, this is kind of a bit of filler. Um, I just don't find it appealing to be this time of year. I'd rather see this again later on in the season. But nevertheless, not bad. It is 2020. Uh, it's a newer, it's a brand new lure from 2020, Blitz Lures LLC. And uh, yeah, not bad. I like it. It's soft. It, it works. Their Blitz uh, Lures Popping Frog is $7.79. Uh, next up. Beast Coast Hustle, the hybrid finesse jig. Beast Coast, yep. So this is definitely more my style for this time. Hybrid finesse in Pro Pumpkin. This is their Hustler. It is a small little jig, finesse jig, with, and the thing about Beast Coast, which is different than a lot, it's got a bucktail. So you got yourself a finesse jig, with bucktail. I'm going to tell you right now, the little bit of marabou flash on it, that bucktail, something about the way water and natural fiber hair bucktails work from, you know, being a musky fisherman and a pike fisherman and, and fishing those, it reacts in the water, it, it billows like a squid, like an octopus, it flows underwater, different than anything else, different than living rubber, dif different than your, you know, your, uh, your uh, plastic, you know, little plastic wire stuff. It's just, it's, it's just different. It's so much more natural the way it'll kind of land and then open up like a flower. And then kind of, as you pull it, it'll pull back in and stop when you hit, you know, when you stop your jig reaction, it'll just open back up. Pair this with the right small little grub, little tiny grub, 
that's not going to impede on that hair. And, uh, and this thing will be a merciless slayer of fish, guaranteed. And this is something that will catch everything from your perch to your crappie to, to, to anything. This is an all-year-round bait, definitely. Marabou flash catches your eye, gives you that little flash of glimmer. Fish love that. And more importantly, uh, that bucktail and the way it reacts is bar none. It's just something about it. It's more natural to a lot of fish. Um, it's just, it's a traditional bait. It's something from grandpa, you know, grandpa's era, right up there with, you know, pork baits. But it's something that transcends time. No matter what they come out with in the future and technology and materials, going back to old-fashioned bucktails still, you know, you just can't beat it. That's cool. Definitely nice skirt, nice um, head on it. It's got the little weed guards, nylon weed guard, and it's got little eyes. And again, it's got that... Uh, that perpendicular uh, line tie. It's not parallel with the with the head of the bait. It's actually running perpendicular to it, which is cool. And it's a tiny one. What, what's the uh, weight on this? Where did I put the package? I lost the package already. Did I put it back in? I put it back in the box. Quarter ounce. Quarter ounce hybrid finesse. I guess the hybrid is because it's got the little bucktail along with the uh, you know with the plastic and the uh, the marabou flash. That's really cool. That is definitely going in my tackle box. I'm looking forward to uh, to using that. Their hybrid, again, is uh, $6.49. Awesome price for a good jig. Dobbins D-Blade Advantage Spin Bait. Another good winter bait. So right now, so far, I've, I've been impressed. I've gotten the vibrating... Um, I've got the, the vibrating uh, um, uh, rattle trap. Definitely winter time. Uh, the Excite Baits... Uh, Little crankbait, the diver uh, was it seven seven foot diver? That's definitely winter time. Um, the the shad, the little scatter shad, definitely. You know, I don't. I'm gonna try it. It's not really me to have a, a bladed bait, a bladed jig like that, but maybe that'll work. The popping frog and that is not really winter to me. Um, the beast coast finesse jig that we just got, that's definite. And of course, a spinner bait. Spinner baits are awesome during the winter. And this one is all white, 3 8 ounce. Not bad. It's a double. They call it DD because it's double bladed. These are both uh, willow blades. I, again, you know me, I like a Colorado and a Widow combo, willow combo. Uh, but any blade will do. So blades will slay. But that's a really cool, uh, a cool uh, little double bladed uh, spinner bait for $5.99. Well within the price range. If you lose it, not a big deal. And it goes on four. <laughs> Next up, Weston. Now, this is a overpriced product right off the bat just because of the name. Weston. Weston Lures. This is the Shad Tees Slim. $5.99. That's a very budget-friendly price from Weston. Um, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's not usual for me. Um, Shad Tees Slim Sparkling Green 4-inch Little uh, Swim Baits. So we got these little paddle tail... Uh, 10 centimeter or 4 inch, and it's a 3 pack, so that's good. Now this would definitely go well with the bladed jig paired up. Again, this is not a bluegill pattern, um, but nevertheless, take these out of the pack, get a closer look. Maybe they put it in this blister pack, like they're going to. Alright, success. Fingers don't fail me now. Alrighty, so this is this is a little bit more bluegill pattern to me. Um, you definitely have more hints of green and gold in there to give you that bluegill pattern. It still emulates a minnow uh, far better to me than a bluegill. I like to see a little bit more purple hues in it. Um, but nevertheless, that's really cool. A uh, short little paddle tail. Again, I really do like the idea of this on that bladed jig. I think that they'll pair up nicely. Um, Obviously, I'd cannibalize the head just so that it marries up more seamlessly with the head that's on there. Cut the eyes off and yada yada so it fits nicely. Um, good good plastic. Weston always has great materials, and they are a quality bait. They'll last a long time. You take care of them, they'll take care of you. Um, unlike some other brands that, you know, you leave it sitting on the deck, and it just gets warm in the sun, and then next thing you know, it's a, it's a mess. These things last very, very well. Uh, Weston, and again, that was five dollars ninety nine cents. That's surprising. Most Weston stuff is at least two, three dollars ahead of 
uh, the same style of bait in a comparable manufacturer. So, you know, you get like your, you get a Kitek for $7.99. Weston will come out with a, their Kitek version. It'll be $8 or $9.99. Um, it just is, it's, you know, it's like manufacturers. You're going to buy a Lexus or you're going to buy a Toyota Corolla. What you going to do? You're paying for the name. But you're getting quality over quantity. And sometimes it's worth that. Next up, or next to last, in fact. So the Weston was $5.99. X-Zone Lures Finesse Slammer. So we got, I've had these before. All right, and we got them in the Green Pumpkin Blue Flake. So, let's see. I had these in another mail order box, which I also did get recently, and I'll be doing a video to that shortly. But uh, I didn't get them in this color. So these are little itty bitty trailers. Now this would work awesome on that little finesse jig because I could cut this whole head off the top here and just use the tail end for that little tiny twitchy tail on the back end of it. Um, the thing about these, they're flat sided hand, you know, flat poured. So you've got your, your convex side uh, and then you've got your flat pour side on the bottom. And with these, when I rig them on things, I rig it with the hook coming out of the flat side just to get better uh, hook penetration rather than hooking it this way. If I am trying to keep it weedless, then I will almost Texas rig it, go in and out the bottom and flip it over so the rounded edge is sticking up and then I'll pinch that hook right through the rounded edge, giving me that extra little bit of plastic uh, that allows me to kind of make it semi-weedless um, while still maintaining maximum action on that little twitchy tail. Good color, good good material. X Zone's pretty cool. Um, I like their baits. It's got a little bit of a plasticky anise anisette kind of smell. Uh, not very overpowering, but uh, nevertheless, I do like their baits, and this will definitely go with my finesse applications. Drop shots are are great with these two because they they are so you know flickery, and you'd work these very gently and very slow. <clears throat> Last on our list. And the least expensive thing, that was $3.60 for the X-Zones. Uh, we have the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Wide Gap Worm Hooks. Standard, just, you know, standard EWGs. Quantity of 3 and a 4 aught. I got tons and tons of hooks, but you, yeah, you know, hooks are hooks. Always use hooks. Hooks bend out, hooks rust, hooks need replacing, hooks dull. If you're not in tune to sharpening them like I, I do occasionally, or if you've got so many that it really doesn't matter, you can... Uh, you know, never have too many hooks. You're always going to have another one coming to pack later down the road. That's a good thing. So, that's the end of the box. So, that's a really, uh, you know, it's a, it's a hit and miss box, in my opinion. Uh, tell me what you think down in the description, or in the, in the comments down below. What do you think about this? It's different than, uh, than uh, No Redemption Outdoors. Quite a bit different, in fact, as I recall. Uh, we both got EWG hooks. I think he got a different brand. Um, we both got, uh, like a, a paddle tail and we both got a, uh, you know, a set of jigs. Um, I don't think he got a bladed jig. Oh, well, you know, I'll have to go back and review again. I'll see his, his thing, but it was a really good box and congratulations to him on his, uh, his grand pappy uh, If you don't know, go check out his channel. He just made an announcement, uh, that he's going to be a grandfather. So, join the club. I made myself a grand... Well, I became a grandfather. I didn't make myself a grandfather, but I became a grandfather last year. So, that's really cool. Congratulations to him. We both got granddaughters. So, big ups. They grow fast. Let me tell you that. They grow fast. Be careful. Mind yourself. Don't spoil them too quick because they burn through all the clothing in the first three or two or three years. And then you can slow roll. Just take it easy. I know it's it's hard for us not to, not to spoil our kids and our grandkids. But, uh, you know, God bless Good for you. Uh, with all that said, really quick, dual hardcore, uh, the, uh, the the standard, you know, chatterbait, or not, excuse me, not chatterbait, the standard rattle trap was $14.99. The Excite Baits uh, Diver was $8.99. The Mustad uh, Scatter Shad, which is like a chatterbait, that was $8.99. Blitz Lures, the Frog, a popping frog, soft top water, I don't know why, in November, $7.79. Beast Coast Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig, that's awesome with the Marabou and the Bucktail, $6.49. Dobbins D-Bladed Advantage Spinnerbait, uh, Double Willow, that's $5.99. Weston's Shad Tees, the little slimming uh, paddle tails, those are $5.99. The Exxon Lures Slammers, the tiny little finesse uh, 
little soft plastics 360 and finally the Eagle Claw laser sharp wide gap worm hooks uh, those are $1.50 not a bad box all in total uh, like I said there's only really two two things in there that I wouldn't put in a November December January box maybe in April May June but not not right now but anyway all that said I never, I never pass up good baits and good lures and new manufacturers. That's another thing that's good about MTB. You come in contact with a plethora of manufacturers, both well-known and not so well-known, uh, but you'll find that uh, sometimes you'll find a company that you've never tried before. For example, Excite Baits, I hadn't before. I'm loving a lot of their product line. I love a lot, a lot of their different uh, designs and, uh, and bait profiles. Uh, it... it boggled my mind and now I'm a great advocate of the Excite Braids brand and uh, their style of baits. So that being said, I hope this was informative. I gotta end this one and start the next uh, to bring you my other box unboxing. Um, I appreciate all you who hang out with me. Um, we're growing slowly and I like that. I appreciate that because it means that I'm growing with you, you're growing with me and we are a uh, family that we're working together. It's not just random numbers uh, that just pop in, click, and then never see me again. I'm not here to waste time, and I'm not here to, uh, you know, just have clickbait and stuff like that. I like having interaction. So please, if you watch this video, if you learn anything, you watch any of my other videos, and you're just disappointed or, or like it, tell me. Tell me what you know that I don't. Uh, share things. Teach me. And I hope that if I've informed you something, tell me, hey, I didn't even think about that. Thank you for, uh, you know, pointing that out. Or that, that opened my mind. What about what you said and then add this to it, you know, expand on the conversation. And that's how we all grow and become better anglers. So, uh, again, from the bottom of my heart, to all of you out there, you hookaholics, thank you for spending a little time with me. Be safe this uh, Thanksgiving season. Uh, God bless. Stay safe out on the roads and uh, in your travels if you're going to meet and greet family. As always, from me to you, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hulkalux.